massive crack that's up to 50 feet deep suddenly opened up in the ground in Africa. The map of our world is about to change. I'm talking about the continent of Africa splitting into two. The division of the African continent is slowly but surely taking place. Thanks to advancements in technology, we can now observe these tectonic movements, which were largely elusive in the past. This has given us a deeper insight into why and how Africa is breaking apart and what potential consequences we might expect from this division. To think this happened overnight, this is the stuff of Hollywood. One fascinating result is the emergence of a completely new ocean. A brand new ocean is currently in the making, thanks to the shifting tectonic plates underneath Africa. When these terrestrial and marine plates drift apart, molten lava surges upwards to form a new seafloor. This emerging ocean will be responsible for the creation of various geological features such as rift valleys, mountain ranges, and underwater trenches. As the plates continue to move, the newly formed ocean is expected to expand, carving out a fresh ocean basin. The advent of this new ocean is being anticipated by geologists as a consequence of Africa's ongoing split. This theory gained traction in 2005, when a gap spanning 35 miles was discovered in the Ethiopian desert by a global research team, which could be the start of a new sea. Seismic data from the rift's formation reveals that the activities at the ocean floor are primarily driving the division. The desert, composed of the Africa-Arabia tectonic plates, has been gradually widening for the last 30 million years and has recently been showing. In one of the world's most inhospitable regions, East Africa's Afar region, one can stand at the exact place where the continent is tearing apart beneath the surface. In this remote region, Three tectonic plates are gradually moving away from each other. This intricate geological process is believed to have the potential to cleave Africa in two, creating a new ocean basin several million years in the future. The most compelling evidence of this is a 35-mile-long crack in the Ethiopian desert. With the help of new satellite data, scientists are gaining a better understanding of this shift and tracking the slow birth of a new ocean in one of Earth's most geologically unique locations. Christopher Moore, a doctoral candidate at the University of Leeds in the United Kingdom, has been studying volcanic activities in East Africa using satellite radar, shedding light on the continent's fragmentation. The Afar region, a junction point of the Nubian, Somali, and Arabian plates, provides a unique opportunity to study these complex tectonic processes. It's predicted that Africa's new ocean will come into existence in about 5 to 10 million years. The Earth's crust is composed of 12 tectonic plates, which are uneven and rocky. These plates interact in various ways. They collide, slide over or under each other, and move apart. About 30 million years ago, the Arabian plate detached from the African plate, leading to the formation of the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden. Presently, the Somali plate and the Nubian plate are being pried apart by the East African Rift Valley in Ethiopia and Kenya. Scientists believe that the continental rift could potentially be driven by a colossal plume of superheated material rising from the mantle beneath East Africa. GPS devices have played a major role in studying the continental drift. These devices have equipped researchers with the ability to accurately track even minor ground movements over time. This unit here in a 360 direction to build up a complete 3D picture. GPS technology is so advanced that it can detect shifts as tiny as a few millimeters per year. As the precision of GPS measurements improves, so does our understanding of the ongoing processes. By leveraging satellite data and field research, scientists could potentially gain a deeper understanding of the subterranean activities occurring in the Afar region. Afar holds the dubious honor of being the hottest inhabited place on Earth. Daytime temperatures can soar to 130 degrees, only to drop to a sweltering 95 degrees at night. In 2005, scientists examined the 35-mile rift in the Ethiopian desert. They noted that the remarkable split represented several hundred years' worth of tectonic plate movement condensed into just a few days. So, I mean, if this scan's worked, hopefully the other two have worked, and we'll basically be able to stitch all three together. I was worried. It's believed that the explosive eruptions witnessed in Afar could be triggered by rising magma pressure similar to that of an overinflating a balloon, until the external tension becomes so great that it bursts with the slightest provocation. 
the Afar region is characterized by plate boundaries that are all moving apart at various speeds. Nevertheless, their collective forces are paving the way for a series of mid-ocean ridges, which will become the birthplace of a new ocean. The Gulf of Aden and the Red Sea will inundate the East African Rift Valley. They will then unite to form a new ocean, effectively transforming a part of East Africa into a distinct smaller landmass. The three plates are separating at different rates. The two African plates are moving apart at a pace of 0.2 to 0.5 inches per year, whereas the Arabian plate is distancing itself from Africa at a speed of one inch per year. Despite the gradual pace of the rifting process, researchers believe that there are observable indications of it. As the plates drift apart, an oceanic crust forms along the ridges. The eastern arm of the Rift Valley is quite active, as indicated by the regular tremors that occur around it. However, such an event would likely take a long time, potentially millions of years to transpire. Earth was formed around 4.5 billion years ago, and it was around 3.2 billion years ago that the continent's crusts formed, with molten rocks pushing through columns to create the supercontinent and the continental shelf. Tectonic plates are in perpetual motion, colliding at divergent plate boundaries and subducting beneath each other. This action has given rise to the continents we know today, Africa, South America, North America, Europe, Asia, and Australia. The thickness around the Rift Valley has diminished from 40 kilometers to 35 kilometers over the span of more than 30 million years. Consequently, it will take a considerable amount of time for another five kilometers to be lost. Upon crossing Wajir, the side of the Rift Valley gives way to a depression hidden under the layers of sediment accumulated over time. The East African Rift Valley, also known as the Afro-Arabian Rift Valley, is one of the Earth's largest rifts, stretching from Jordan in Southwest Asia to Mozambique in Eastern Africa. The effects of the vast projected split are clearly visible. Following the volcanic eruption of 2005, the Afar region underwent significant changes. Cooled, molten rocks filled the cracks in the desert, a transformation detectable through advanced satellite data. As tectonic plates separate, deep earth material rises to the surface, forming oceanic crusts along the ridges. This presents a unique opportunity for researchers, as most such occurrences happen underwater. The fissure in the Afar Desert provides valuable insights into tectonic plate movements. Seismologists believe a 20-meter Eritrean landmass is all that stands between the region and the ocean, with parts of the region already below sea level. If water inundates the fissures, a new ocean will form. Floodwaters will effectively split Ethiopia into two halves. It's projected that Somalia and a part of southern Ethiopia will become islands in the Indian Ocean. A significant fissure emerged in Kenya's Rift Valley in April 2018, which has been pointed out as evidence of Africa's fragmentation. In the grand scheme of Earth's geological history, divisions of continents are not unprecedented. 300 million years ago, our planet looked very different. Oceans and continents as we know them were absent. There were only two significant features, a supercontinent called Pangaea and a massive ocean, Panthalassa. It wasn't until 100 million years later that Pangaea fragmented into the continents we recognize today and Panthalassa was similarly divided to form our current oceans. The early Permian era marked the completion of this arrangement. However, by the early Jurassic era, the supercontinent had started to disintegrate, eventually leading to the formation of the continents and the Atlantic and Indian Oceans that we know today. It appears that we're on the brink of another significant shift in Earth's geography. In due course, Africa could transform into a series of archipelagos, which is a group of islands surrounded by a substantial part of the original continent. The prospect of fragmentation isn't limited to Africa. Rifts and fissures are beginning to emerge globally. One such example is Iceland, situated 8,000 miles away from Ethiopia, which could potentially split. Iceland is in a tricky spot because it's surrounded by two big plates called the North American and Eurasian plates. These plates are moving away from each other, which could cause Iceland to break into three pieces. The center of Iceland is starting to crack and split apart because of this. This is happening along a line in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean that goes from north to south. New land is forming in the space between the plates, but mostly under the ocean, except for in Iceland where the land is above the water. 
The African continent is slowly but surely dividing, and the division will create a new ocean, a result of the forming rift valleys. The tectonic plate activity causing this fragmentation will take millions of years to fully unfold. The birth of a new ocean would undoubtedly alter the geography and climate of the African continent, bringing about global repercussions.